Hey everybody, uh, stick with me and we're gonna see if this Engway Engine Pro recharges itself on the downhills. We started out down in town here. We've climbed up to this point and now we're gonna go climb uh, Lookout Mountain here and see how it does. We're gonna climb to the top of Lookout Mountain here and then we're gonna head back down and see if this bike recharges itself. We are currently on the top of Lookout Mountain, right outside of Golden, Colorado. Um, we started way down in town there and rode all the way up the roads here. Lots of switchbacks and uh, pretty steep stuff. So it's about uh, eight miles from where I parked my car to where I'm sitting now. We'll walk back over here to the bike, take a look, see where we're at uh, charge-wise, and then we'll start back down the hill and see if it actually recharges itself. The bike did great coming uphill. I had it in power pedal assist four and uh, really pretty much flew by everything. So uh, it climbed very nicely. So we're turning it back on here. Um, we're showing when I pulled up here 
We were showing 85%, now it shows 89%. Now I'm gonna pedal down here to the intersection and from there, we'll put it in pedal assist one. I believe it recharges in pedal assist one and pedal assist two, um, but we should get an icon on it that will tell us if that's uh, actually recharging. We'll see if this direct drive motor actually recharges the battery as we go downhill. Okay, now we're getting a green charge light here. It's essentially like I'm braking on the way downhill. I'm not touching the brakes, um, but it feels like I'm dragging. So it's the resistance on the direct drive motor that's working as a brake and also generating power to recharge the battery. It's funny at this rate, I'm gonna be going slower downhill, not using any brakes than I was coming uphill. The percent meter for the battery is already showing a huge gain. Um, we're definitely generating power and recharging the battery. I would say if this uh, power meter is right on this, we are definitely uh, recharging and it's working exactly as advertised. This could save an awful lot of brake pads too because I am not touching the brakes and we're only doing 15 miles an hour down some pretty steep stuff here. Just cruising downhill at 16 miles an hour. And look, we're already up to 96% on the battery. We're only a little over a mile going downhill. So this will easily recharge itself 100% on the downhill. I could ride up and down this hill all day long and never have to actually recharge the battery at an outlet. It's pretty crazy. Okay, we just rolled over mile 18.
We're already up to 97% on the battery. It's weird going down this hill at 16 miles an hour and not using any brakes. I'm used to just ripping down this. Hey. We're already up to 97% on the battery. Coming up on a couple of deer here. Hey guys. So we started out way down in town there, climbed all the way up here and climbed the mountain that's behind us that we just came down. You see this little green bar here? As I pick up speed, that jumps across and that's an indicator of how much juice we're uh, putting back into the battery there. So you want that green bar to be close to the right side of the graph there. It's a beautiful day in December here. We're gonna head down this road over here. Couldn't have a much nicer day. Um, we've been getting a little bit of snow off and on, but nothing too big yet. I've got a bunch of cars coming up behind me here, so I'm going to pull over to the right, let them get by. This is pretty crazy. It's a weekend, so there's a lot of traffic up here. And it's a really popular biking route. A lot of people like to ride this. So. Okay, I think we're clear up behind us. Jump back on the road here. Do some more charging. So I'm still just in pedal assist one, which as I understand you have to be in one or two to uh, be able to use the regenerative function on that spike. So let's see if we can get back to 100% by the time we get to the bottom of the hill here, that'd be awesome.
man, we just hit 99. There we are, 100% free charge. Check that out. Mile 19, and we're at a hundred. Well, we're jumping back and forth between 99 and 100%. So we'll be there shortly. That's pretty impressive. I could ride this hill up and down all day long and never have to recharge this bike. That's crazy. How cool is that? I'm gonna give it just another minute to top off the battery here. It's showing 100%, but I wanna make sure it is. And then uh, I'll go ahead and bump it up to pedal assist four and we'll take off and we'll ride back into town. Okay, we're at a solid 100% now, and we're at 20 miles. So that didn't take long at all to literally give us back everything that we used on that climb. I'm going to pull over right here and we're going to take a quick look at this bike. That was really impressive. Wow. So there we are with the Engway Engine Pro. This thing went all the way up the mountain and completely recharged itself on the way back down. And it's ready to go again. That is so cool. I've never had a uh, bike that recharged itself. So that's a, a new first for me. Very cool. I've got these air forks on this. I replaced the stock forks with air forks. Um, put on a rock shock which helped a ton. Now I've actually got some decent rear suspension. Um, changed the gearing on it so that I can climb better. Put on these bags. Obviously did the stem and uh, BMX bar swap here. So yeah, that thing did really well. I'm really happy with that. And it uh, kept a consistent, you know, 18, 19 miles an hour uphill. And I wasn't even bumped up to the highest pedal assist. So next time I come out and do this hill, we're going to do it in pedal assist 5. 
we're going to fly up this thing and we'll see if we can do a full recharge on the way back down then too so hey uh, thanks for watching i hope that answers the question on whether this regenerative uh braking recharge actually works and uh, from this test it works 100 percent. that was awesome hey thanks see you on the next one